anyone know where I am? It's blue. It's blue. I'll give you a moment. I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not, but I'm in the Goodwill Digging Bin, is what we call it, or Way and Pay, some people call it, or just the bins, but the auctions in the next room is about to start. You know, I've been forgetting to have auctions down here, but I'm not going over there. I just came over because it's been a while since I've looked at their books and I need to load my Amazon up and I have been selling books that's been in, in my Amazon store for probably a year. Now they're selling it. So I'm like, okay, time to get some more. So I'm just looking to see what I can get my hands on. So. I'll let you know. Well, I finished getting the books, and I will show you the different books I picked up, but see some in here. Oh, that is a giant mug, and I really wish it was filled with coffee right now, because I have not had any. But since I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and look and see what else. they have here in the bins. My books are for Amazon. Maybe I'll see something for eBay. I will let you know. So I'm in the digging bin, minding my own business, when all of a sudden, who walks up on me? So Shay. And she begins to find all the good looking shoes. I don't know who she thinks she is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all the good looking shoes. Who does so shape think she is? I'm so shape. She said, I'm so shape. But she didn't do like Rick James would do. And put, <laughs> and put the B on in. I'm so shape, B. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank God my video is only for adults and not for children. All right then, we're gonna keep digging. <laughs> okay, I am home from the bins. I ended up with 13 books. Uh, I'm just gonna show you a couple I got. Mm. This book right here, very heavy. Weight Watchers new complete cookbook. It um is in pretty good condition, and the rank on it is really great on Amazon, and there are barely any on there, so that should be pretty good. Um, the first book I saw was this palette handbook for airplanes. Doesn't have a um barcode. I'm gonna look it up, but for a quarter at our digging bin um hard cover books are 50 cent soft cover books are a quarter i generally try to get the quarter books but sometimes you'll see something now i saw this book raindrops from heaven general reminders of god's power presence and purpose um it's in great condition had a good pretty good rank too um, but I thought this would be a, a good book because Harry Potter has a good rank. I believe this rank was 800 in books on Amazon, which anything generally under a million is pretty good. But to have an 800, wow, that's really great. Um, got this book on Catherine Graham that had a pretty good rank. I may as well just show you the ones I have. Backpackers Field Manual. All of these books had a rank um, under a million. Maybe one or two of them have a 1.2 million. But I try to keep my books lower rank these days so it'll move quicker. 
Mars and Venus on a date. Y'all have heard of the book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. Uh, eat, shrink, and be merry. Great taste in food that won't go from your lips to your hips. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, that has a pretty good rank on it. This hasn't been used. It's an internet password logbook. Pretty cool. I guess you write all your passwords in it. Then you lose the book. Uh, the Best American Essays. This one I got for myself. I'm joking. Dog Man and Cat Kid had a really great rank on it. It's a hardback book. I've never heard of these characters, but it's a hardback comic book, I guess you'd say. Breakthrough Blending for the Ninja. You know, what is it? Ninja Bullet or whatever that thing is. Healthier Eating. I got this book. We always crack jokes about Pinocchio because we love the commercials, um, you know, that you see these days for Geico. But um, I saw this book. It's from 1912. Yeah, it's got that little writing in it. Um, and it's called Pinocchio in Africa. And it's a book about Pinocchio. It's in good condition except for... This page right here is torn, but I'm probably going to put this on eBay. Um, I've got to look up comps for it, but um, I'm going to put it on eBay and then, you know, just see what it does. Of course, I'll make sure to list that defect. You got to list your defects. All right. So let's see. What else do I have? Okay, so as I began to look around the digging bin, I remembered, I don't know who it is, it's somebody that I follow that sells rackets. And I saw three. This Wilson Fusion XL tennis racket. Um, it's in good condition. Looks like it could be, might be a $20 bill, $15 to $20 bill. Mind you, I just paid a few cents for it. Less than a dollar. This Pro Connects. That racket, looks like that might be about a $10 or $15 bill. And then this Prince JR racket. This appears to be the most expensive one. Um, but I'll have to let you all know what it actually goes for. I'm going to put those on eBay, of course. And then I saw this uh, Disney uh, Buzz Lightyear and Woody. It's a Christmas stocking. Original price tag was $13 on it. So, you know, I paid, what, some cents for that. And then I saw these two frying pans. I'm going to clean them up, but I'm trying to expand my horizons as I build. Um, I have a store that has about 650 items on it. And I'm building my second store. So, I think that's where these items are going to go, but... Um, so I'm just trying to experiment with different things and, you know, follow success for others and, and see what works. But, um, these are KitchenAid. Non-stick. Got this 10-inch pan. This 12-inch pan. I'm going to clean them up. And see what I can get from them. And then, as I was saying, somebody yesterday, in mean, one of the groups I follow on Facebook, um, talked about finding the Direct TV remote controls and selling them. So I saw this one. So I picked it up. Now this Polynex Spa is new. Dusty, of course, 
because it was in the bin. I really didn't find a comp for it. I looked. But um, I'm going to list it. You know me. I can make up some prices. And I'm just going to see what it does. This thing. Oh, I just saw this chip. Oh, man. I didn't see the chip when I picked it up. That really makes me angry. It's a Mayan Zodiac statue thingy. I'm still going to list it. I thought it was interesting. You know, it's kind of lightweight. Oh, another little chip. Got to examine this stuff better than what I did. But, still going to list it. Um, let's see what I can get for it. These, uh, I saw this pair of shoes. Curves for women. They're like walkers. Good walking shoes. I remember when those franchises opened up. It was a Curves franchise in our area. It's not here anymore, though. But, um, it's in great condition. Um, not sure about the comps on them. But, I picked them up. So, I'm going to see what they go for. And then the last thing I got, I was walking, you know how you're walking down the aisle of the bins. And uh, I didn't dig in the clothes. But as I was walking down the aisle toward the back, I saw a price tag sticking out. So I went and picked this up just to see what it was. It's from Old Navy. It's a man's shirt. Um, but, you know, I paid, what, probably less than 50 cents for it. So... I went ahead and picked it up. Built in flex, polo style shirt. You know, I'll get at least a ten dollar bill for it. But I'm gonna check the comps on it and see what it's really going for. So anyway, uh, I was in the digging bin maybe about an hour or so. Just went. I'm just you know, I'm stepping up my game. I gotta expand what I'm doing. Um, it's expand or go back to work for a year or so. And I don't intend to do that. Um, flexibility is very important to me. And um, I unexpectedly quit my job almost two years ago, you know, to assist my honey. And now that he's doing really great, thank the Lord. Um, I don't want to go back to work. Um, I sound youthful, but I'm almost at retirement age. <laughs> Young retirement. But anyway, um, so I got to step up my game. So I'm going to go for it. So I just wanted to show you all a quick trip to the digging bin. So I'll get this stuff processed for eBay. I'll get my books processed for Amazon. And I will keep it moving. All right, so you all have a great day on purpose. Cheryl out. One thing I forgot to mention previously, this is a PS <laughs> to my video. Um, everything I got from the digging bin, including the 13 books and these items here, I paid a total of $15 and some change. I mean, you can't beat that. If you go on a regular Goodwill, you're going to pay, what, $3, 4 for a shirt and 5 or 6 for shoes and God knows what else. But uh, at the bins, you can really get some good quality items and not pay a lot of money for it. So, anywho, Cheryl knows saying, um, if you like my videos, go ahead and make a comment below. Let me know some good finds that you found at the bins. Um, be sure to um, like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time that I um, post a new video. Okay? All right. Time to get to work. You all have a great day on purpose. Cheryl out.